Court is calling 2022 CR 7131 and 2023 CR 0036, State of Texas versus Adam Stacey. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins and uh, Travis Banks for the state. Defense. Andrew Priest for the defense. And are you Adam Stacey? Yes, ma'am. Adam Stacey. Council. I'm sorry? Stace. Adam Stace. Ah. Thank you for letting me know. I always tell everyone you should correct somebody when they're mispronouncing your name. Counsel, in each of these cause numbers, have you received all of the discovery and did you review it with your client? I have, Your Honor. In each cause number, the court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. And each cause number, Mr. Stace, did you review the document entitled Application for Community Supervision yes, your with Honor. your attorney? Did you understand it and did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. And each cause number, I'm showing you what's entitled true bill of indictment. Did you review those documents with your attorney? Did you understand them? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment in each cause number? We do, Your Honor. State and the cause number ending in 7131. Are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. And in cause number ending in 0036, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. And each cause number, I'm going to show you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review those documents with your attorney? Did you understand them? Did you sign them in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. And the cause number ending in 31, you're charged with the offense of theft 2,500 to 30,000. That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. And the cause number ending in 36, you're charged with the offense of assault family second offense. That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 10 to 10 years, two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. In each cause numbers, after reviewing state's exhibits, one in attachments, court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty, and the court will find you guilty in each cause number. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Just two things, Judge. Uh, regarding the community service, uh, my client has informed me that uh, he's currently disabled. Uh, he just has concerns about being able to complete the community service, uh, be able to find something he'd be able to do with his disability. Uh, we would ask that the court would be willing to possibly probate a portion of the fine in return for him possibly taking some other class. Um, regarding the no contact order, Judge, I believe we were in agreement for uh, some type of no contact order. Uh, we were requesting a no harmful or injurious contact order. Uh, the complainant in that case is his wife. My understanding is they're still together. Uh, as the state mentioned, she did file a affidavit of non-prosecution. Uh, so we would ask if the court would consider a no harmful or injurious uh, contact order uh, on that case, uh, due to the fact that they are married and she did submit a no or a affidavit of non-prosecution on this case. All right, Mr. Stace, how long have you been disabled? I've been pending disability for about four years. All right, so in 2021, you would have still been disabled, right? Yes, so how heavy was the object that you took from the U-Haul? The object was probably about like 30 pounds, maybe okay. like that, not even that. Let me just tell you, if you can list, lift 30 pounds. My problem is my back is bending over and walking. I can't be on my feet longer than 10, 15 minutes. I have to sit down. But see, here's the problem. Yeah. You went to somebody's U-Haul at a hotel where you are staying. Mm -hmm. And according to the police report I read, you were lifting a heavy object. It states, um, suspect one, which is you, could be seen carrying a heavy object away from the U-Haul. So you have to carry it from the U-Haul to your room in room 1119. No, ma'am. Um, my truck was right next to it. And I was, to be real, I was drunk. I was on drugs. Um, so I lifted it like and walked five feet and put it in the back of my truck. So you lifted a heavy object. Like 25 walked pounds. Five feet, 25, like 25 pounds. Well, you said 30 pounds. At 30, first. 25 pounds. All right. So you walked from the U-Haul, lifted a heavy item. And you walked five feet. I'm not waiving his community service. And let me ask you, who is Tanganyaka? Sorry, Deborah. I mean, Diana, T-A-N-G-A-N-Y-I-K-A. -A -A. Who is that to you? That was an old friend. I don't even uh, talk to her anymore. I haven't talked to her. So you and your old friend 
two years. In 2021, you had a hotel room with that person and y'all were staying in a hotel room together. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And then you were still married at that time. No, T, T knows my wife. My wife, me and my wife were arguing. Uh, uh, her, we call her, her name is T. I call her T. She got a room, so I had no money because I'm not able to work. So I was able to stay the night with her at the room. I was and did she not her. have her own place? Or she uh, just go around in hotel rooms and staying in them with people? She's homeless, too. Her parents kicked her out. She she goes to hotel to hotel. All right. Well, that's that's going to be between you and your wife after this probation is over. Uh, my wife's already got into me about that. Already. Oh, no, because I'm, I'm going to order the no contact. That's why I'm saying uh, that's something that you and your wife will have to discuss after your probation is over. This is what the court is going to do. And cause number ended in 3-1. Court is going to sentence you to two years in the state jail facility, suspended and probated for five years. There's a $500 fine. I'll probate that. This is run concurrent with 2023-CR-0036. Take in consideration NITMAG number 729876. There's to be restitution, if any, to Viviana Liondecker. Cats 1 and 2. Cats 1 and 2 is going to teach you how not to steal, or at least tell you don't steal. There is to be no contact with T A N G A N. Y-I-K-A, last name R-O-L-N-I-K. There's to be proof of employment within 30 days of release. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Do you have any children? Uh, there are adults already. Yes, I got two. What are their ages? 23 and 22. There's to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person, regular random UAs. We can do a TAP evaluation out of custody. If you miss that TAP evaluation appointment, that's a violation of your probation. So a warrant may be issued for your arrest. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Follow TAP recommendations. There's to be no contact with Melinda McKinney. And that's M-C-K-E-N-N-E-Y. I'm going to want field visits one time per month until further notice. Is there anything else probation in that cause number? Nothing. All right. Anything else you need from the court in that cause number? No, Your Honor. All right. And cause number ending in three six. Court is going to find you guilty. Says punishment at five years in the prison, suspended and probated for five years. This is run concurrent with two thousand twenty two CR seven one three one. Take in consideration NIMAG number 729875, 729876, grand jury number 804891, the BIPP course. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Melinda. Kenny. 100 hours of community service restitution that will not be waived. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular UAs, TAP evaluation, follow TAP recs. And the TAP evaluation can be out of custody. Proof of employment.
There's to be no employment as a home health care provider with minors. Bill visits one time per month until further notice. Uh, probation, is there anything else? Is there anything else that you need from the court and, and that cause number to help you do what's right? All right, in each of the cause numbers, I'm showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. I know she has decided that she no longer wants to prosecute. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you start wanting to search their phone, then that means that there's no trust in your relationship and maybe you shouldn't be in that relationship. I want you to hear me very clearly. You are not allowed to have any contact with her. You all obviously don't have any children together. If you do, you've already told me they're adults. So there's no need to contact her about children because they're adults. It is like you do not know her. If you have contact with her, a motion to revoke is going to be filed and you're looking at potentially five years in the prison. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Is there anything that you do not understand about no contact? Mm -hmm. So that means no calling her on the phone, no sending her flowers saying, I'm sorry, no sending her something for Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving or Christmas or any of the other holidays that are coming up. Don't send her anything for Valentine's Day. Don't send her thinking of you. No contact whatsoever. You understand? Yes, sir. A relationship is over. Sure. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you.